Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Before we jump into today's review, uh, give you a wrist check. I'm wearing SMPC from Omega from the Swatch Group in blue, one of my favorite watches. Now today we're going to be taking a look at Hamilton, another Swatch Group brand. And uh, this one's really cool. This one is the Khaki Aviation Pioneer Automatic. And it's kind of an interesting piece. It was lent in by my friend Robert of the Random Rob channel. And I got to say, it's really great to have a Hamilton in hand because this is a really enjoyable brand. It's kind of like, I don't know, I guess it's kind of like the Seiko of, of Swiss watches. Relatively affordable, good build quality, and just something about them on wrist. Very practical, very enjoyable to wear. I think this one is no exception. So let me play some dimensions here on the side of the screen. So you guys can get a good size of this, uh, good sense of the size of this piece here. Now, one of the things I really do like about it is the flared case on the right side of the watch. Now, notice how much that kind of juts out and provides protection for those dual sign crowns at the two and the four o'clock position. Now, I'll give you a wrist shot here. This is the watch on my 7.25 inch wrists, and it's got a nice short lug to lug length, relatively thin and uh, just overall melds real well on wrist. So I do like the fitment here. Now going back to the watch, let's go in on a macro level. Let's take a look at some of these details of the dial. Very clean contrast between uh, the black dial, and the white printing, the white indices here, and that black inner rotating countdown timer. Now the timer is accessed via the two o'clock crown. You just have to unthread it and then you can move it in either direction and, uh, and then you can use one hour to count down something. I prefer a diving bezel for an elapsed timer, um, but the countdown is more commonly found on aviation pieces. And this is an aviation piece. Now the crown at the four o'clock position operates the H10 movement. And unfortunately it's not screw down. It's just a push pull crown and there's the winding action. So it would be nice if that was a, a thread in crown as well, but it's not. Uh, other than that, it's a, again, a very sharp looking uh, design here. I think it's easy to read at a glance, despite being a little bit more, I guess you could say busy visually. Now I like the handset polished and even that ring that uh, is in between the countdown timer and the black dial is metallic and I think adds some more visual interest and pop. Now let's uh, turn the watch over. Let me show you the case back here. We have a polished case back with an exhibition window. So you can see the H10 movement in here. Now the movement is nothing fancy when it comes to finish work. It's very basic, um, but it's actually pretty cool. Now the Swatch Group has taken the ETA 2824 and uh, modified it pretty significantly here. So we have a free sprung balance which is nice to see, something that the standard 2824 does not have. And we have an 80 hour power reserve, which is very impressive. Uh, the negative aspect in my eyes is they bump the beat frequency down uh, from four hertz to three hertz. Now, if we take a look at that second sand, you'll notice it is visibly a little bit more jumpy because it's starting and stopping six times per second as opposed to the standard eight on a 2824. But I will say that longer power reserve is pretty handy, especially when it's not your daily wear piece and you just wear it occasionally in your watch rotation. Now, just in closing, let me give you a good look at the bracelet, tapering, polished center link, and then a rather hefty milled clasp here, a twin trigger release. I would like to see some more micro adjustment holes. There are only two on this version, um, but you know, as you can see, it's very well made. Uh, now, overall, I like the watch. I like the fact that Hamilton does offer other versions. There's a nice blacked out version that I think looks really sweet. Uh, and it's, it's a fun piece. Are there negative aspects? Sure. I'd like a screw down crown down there at the four o'clock position. And I would like more potent luminescence. That's always the knock on a Hamilton watch is there's never... Uh, there's never potent enough loom. So if they could improve that aspect, uh, they'd really step their game up to the next level. Because on a whole, they're really fun watches. They're real well made. So I'd like to thank Robert again of the Random Rob channel 
for lending this one in. It's always nice to see Hamilton, and this one has been a fun one. So uh, please reach out, guys, with any questions. I really do appreciate you taking the time to watch, and I'll see you in the next video.